Welcome back to another bowl review and today we review these two pretty Joseon Korean war bows from Hikyong. Hikyong, I don't know exactly how pr to pronounce it, uh, from Hikyong Archery. The one is the laminated and this is the bio bio laminated. Don't worry about the background noise, they do knife throwing here today. So this is the bio laminated, this is the laminated. You get always a bow, a string and you know the, the the sleeve which you can use as as belt then you get an extra little piece of ray skin and you get a little string wax and you get this nice sticker so you are fully loaded everything you could possibly need you get with it in the box let's first check what we have from Hikyong Archery, the, I can't read it anymore, Ancient Joseon War Bow, it's a Korean bow. I said the one is laminated, this one is bio-laminated, which has some kind of horn on the belly. Uh, length, I don't know. Uh, string, I don't know. Uh, the draw weight, I don't know, we need to measure them. I don't know the availability, but they go usually up to 50, 60 pounds, but you simply ask them, they can make even 70 pounds bows, if you want. The max draw, I know, is 32 inch recommended. The max draw is 33, so we stick with 32. The arrow weight, I was asking, they gave me grams, I converted it into grain. Uh, they gave me Yes, and we end up with 10.8 grain per pound, almost 11 grain per pound, which is a little heavy for a Korean bow. But we will see, we simply stick with what we have there and we see how the bow will behave. I have more lightweight arrows too, but I don't even know yet what the poundage is, so we will see. So, the laminated version here costs 425 US dollars. An extra string is 15 dollars. Then you can have birch bark or snake skin, which is another $30. And you can have, when you want the bow more than 50 pounds, then every five pounds would be 15 US dollars more. And the bio laminated one, which looks really, I mean, they both look really good, costs 720 US dollars. So this is quite something but on the other side bio laminated i don't know now yet if it's only horn or processed horn like with grosa no idea and there's some leather around and some birch bark looks i mean the only thing i i think is a little overbuilt are the, the ends here the sears here they are quite massive but they know what they are doing we have this texture on the string pads this fabric which is nice a nice whipping with decoration looks really nice there we have the logo, the handle is nice and what you get with the bio laminated one you get another handle uh, wrap material for it so but this handle feels directly like this really good so cool and again like we had with the other Korean bow the snake skin uh, ray skin goes here all around so you don't have it only two patches you have it directly nice wrapped around and most probably here too, yes, you get here to another replacement in green and the sticker. A sticker. Let's put the sticker somewhere. Of course we can. So. With a lock mechanism on it. So. Look at this, isn't that nice, huh? So, now I need to be careful that I don't mix them up. So this is all the stuff for the laminated one and this is for the bio laminated one which goes later than which we leave because this is Daniel Kim's bow so I only test it for him and then I will send it so first let's see the shape difference of course here we have the different handle but I guess you can have this one with the same handle shape like here so when I put now the handles together then you see already the different shape the Bio composite has more reflex, goes way more back again. You see that it's more smooth. And then if you compare the angle of the sears, is then roughly, maybe it's a little more, yeah. The normal one has a little more aggressive sear angle. 
for the rest they look very similar look these are the bags width is kind of the same and here of course then it's only laminated one and this is biolaminate so it's way more massive here but i guess the poundage is roughly the same but i don't know yet we will figure out in a second then i will measure the poundage obviously but first things first the biocompositor so i test both in one because i guess the difference 53 inches quite long 53 this is the bio and the laminated one i guess it's the same well, there's only a slight different geometry to it but i guess it's the same and 32 safe draw i think is fine 33 max draw but we don't want to max out our boss yeah 53 the same so that's fine this one feels like 30 five pounds yeah, there's nothing written so I don't know da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. string is normal again so no color codation co code for upper or lower string so good and then we have this here similar i don't find an upper or a lower one no i don't know so i guess we simply go now this ah yes there's some there's something but i don't know if it's only super glue or something i don't know i don't know so we string the normal one first with our method so these I think that the sears are a little big, but the string groove is big, string pad is nice. We had it on a few bows with this fabric on it, which is nice. So let's see. Easy, peasy, lemon squeezy, so this bow is strong looking good out of the box look at this nothing off nothing off nothing off looks good and this handle feels not bad feels good yep so let's see this one here 32 inches easy handle bends a little like we had with the other one draws nice has maybe 35 at 31 nice brace height is quite wide for a korean one six and a half inches now let's string the other one where's the string there's the string yes there's this bomb motor so i guess maybe this is then the upper or lower one i don't know but at least there's a marking in in the surfing so I guess this is the upper one. Nice and easy. I should have opened the string loop first. Makes life way easier. And then fiddling in here. It's not the easiest task, but it's nothing. Oops. Less brace height, for sure. Straight. The right string sits not in the middle here, so. but this will all equal out by itself. Six inches, nice handle feels good. So let's warm it up a bit because there is horn, even if it's only processed horn, but the draw nice. So get stiff here. We will see what it will do. So now you see them, they differ quite in, but at the end, look, the shape is very, very similar. Strung, they look very similar. Unstrung, they had a very different shape, but the brace head is half an inch less on the biolaminated one. Most probably this is the heavier one then. 
480 versus Three hundred seventy five four eighty three hundred seventy five. So hundred grams more lightweight. And the draw is nice, so nothing to complain. The laminated one is nice, flexible, Ooh, is very stiff here, so that's very good. I have five hundred grain arrows, I don't know yet what to shoot, so we will see later down the road, only that we shoot an arrow with it. Oh, maybe I should hold it Korean style directly. Huh? Center serving, I'm not sure, maybe I need to change, put the string the other way around. I don't know. Wow, silent, snappy, nice. The biolaminated, oh, stiffer, oh, stiffer here, horse oh, is very stiff. Let's see what this one is doing. Oh, definitely a bit heavier than the other one, but still silent. Did you hear anything? So now we check the poundage directly because we need to know which arrow. So the laminated one. Thirty-two. Thirty-six point five. Thirty-two. Forty-two point three. So you see, the first two inches minimal, and the next two inches quite substantial. But. Not bad at all. Yep, 28, fine. A little more, huh? Uh, almost, it's almost there. So, 28 inches, string angle of 60 degrees. Oops, this is about 30. Looks good. And this is the board. Still looks good, so you see that it's 33 is, I guess, possible, but you see the string angle, we're almost at 90 degrees, so nice. The biolaminated, so it's not called biocomposite, so don't mix it up and spare your comments. We have 39.4 at 30. This is here 45 and at 32. Fifty two. So you see the last two inches goes quite up, so 50 pounds. This one and the other one 45, I think I forgot. 28, no problem. But like with the other one, as we had the same shape. Yep, 60 degree string angle, 28 inches. 30 inches, nice. I like that this is a bit beefy here, it looks nice. Yeah, not much more possible. It gets really already stiff. So, quite some stacking going on. But maybe they only need a few shots. But they're pretty. So, look, this is the laminated one. So, this part here looks similar. Similar, different whipping. There we have another whipping for security on the bio laminated one and to the handles and the whipping the same 
race skin. Then the handles are different, but I guess you can have this one with the same handle shape. No problem, so really pretty. Here we have, I think this is snake skin and wood, so this is other $30 more. It's always good to have a little super glue with you because it can happen that this birch bark comes off. We had this with other bows, so it's not a fault. It's simply when you bend it, it can come off a little. Nice, both awesome. 45 and what did you have now? 50, I forgot again. I just shoot 500 grain arrows. Of course, what I forgot just before. Arrow pass is 20. Seven, almost 28, 27 and a half on the laminated. And 27 on the bio laminated. And again, I only shoot the thumb glove from Freddy Archery because my thumb rings are already packed somewhere in a big box. So I shoot 500 grain arrows on a 40 so they are good 10 grain recommended is 10.8 grain hoops learn how to shoot would be beneficial oh wait we need a korean stone as a normal handle throw is nice throws nice really nice very smooth up to here look 32 inches easy peasy Hey, Robin Hood almost. Very nice. So, and for these ones, the arrows are maybe a tad too lightweight, but I think the 10.8 grain is just too much in any way. So, so this one we can hold nicely, like, you know, like Korean style here. Ooh. And I thought, is it worth it to spend 700 plus dollars instead of 400? Yes, it is. Such a smooth draw and how he kicks the arrows away in a, in a gentle, I can't explain. Nice. You know what, I shoot the normal one with 330 grain or something because I don't want to go back and forth. <laughs> Ah, does a job. Feels nice. So I think, hey Kion, you should reconsider your minimum arrow weight. Maybe a little too lightweight, so you feel a little, but it's fine. So another bio with a 500 grain. So this is roughly 10 grain or a little less. And the speed of this one, huh? Yep. For a Korean bow, predictable. Now look at this, you know what this bow is doing, gives you directly confidence. So it's not that you don't know what this bow is doing, this bow directly tells you what it's doing. I really like this one. I mean, the normal one is already nice, but this one, 20 meters. I shoot the lightweight arrows again because this bow doesn't feel like dry firing. Ooh, 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 I think I ruined an arrow. Shit, too low. Oh, too low again. Okay, needs a little. Ah, you get so easy. A few shots and you get it. The bio. 500 grain. Yeah, this one is hmm, nice bow. Look at this. The height is already okay. I only shoot a little to the right, so we need a bit more torque, I guess. Look at this. 
predictable. Did you even see me? see something? I hope so. So now I have two left because I lost one insert of these white ones. 30 meters or 29, 28 and a half. Let's see. Yeah, you get easy the hang of this bow. It shoots really nice. These two fletched ones, as nice as they are. Hi! Did you see that? You want to kill me? Uh huh. Distracting you. Doesn't work, I don't care. So. Yep, this biolaminated one feels really good. Still shoot in the same hole, but we simply apply a little torque. And then it oh, goes straight. It was a little too heavy for me. These arrows flex a little too much for my taste. Ah, yeah, works. Yeah, nice. This one is a nice bow. A little oops torque. I ruined my shot. Yeah, works with a little torque just nicely. Both incredible bows. I like the bio one more. So 500 grain on the laminated one. I think we need to do this again with the lightweight one. 182. And it doesn't feel like dry firing, so it's fine. 181. Shall we do it again here? Yeah. So, the laminated one again with 500 grain. Seventy-two. Not so bad, huh? One hundred sixty-seven. One hundred fifty-one. I maybe one arrow is heavy or something. So about one hundred seventy foot per second. Lightweight ones. Or they flex 173. 160, so not much more. Weird, but 170 foot per second. Easy. The biolaminated 500 grain. I think it didn't measure. Hundred sixty-eight. And I shoot not the lightweight ones, don't look hick young. At least one. Oh, two hundred six. So really hundred eighty-five, but then you feel it, yes, so 340 grain is too lightweight, but I think 10.8 grain per pound is a little very much on the safe side. This bow performs nice. So both are nice. This one draws, but because it's a less poundage, the draw curve of this one is a little smoother. This one gets a little stiff at the end, but both just awesome. So there you have it, it's too hot for more. Two incredible bows, both have their pros and minor cons, but we get to this now individually, really beautiful.
beautiful pose in Hikyo. I like what you're doing, but I still think that the sears are too massive, in my opinion. So this is, when you see other Korean bows, of course, the war bow, maybe it needs more and I don't know, but still, um, oh, I it the wrong way around. Pretty good bows and I guess they need to break in a little more than they perform even better, but you saw the speed you get out of it. It's the only thing really, Hikyong, this almost 10 or 11 grain per pound is just a little too much. So eight, I think would be good or nine as a minimum grain per pound. Think about it. So what you get is a bow, a string, this nice sleeve. You get an extra piece of ray skin, just in case it tears off. You get a little bit of string wax. You can use it as lip gloss too, if you want. I like this a lot. Makes your life easier and gives you a few more points. So we have bow, string, sleeve, string wax, and it's almost like an extra string and a sticker. So I give you here full points, 10, because this is really nice when you get a lot of things with it. So let's talk about the 10 for the normal one and 10 for the biolaminate. The biolaminate has an even the handle wrap again. So 10 points too. Handling, stringing. With a lower poundage is okay. When you have it a little higher poundage and you do the step through method like I did, you see that they have here quite some reinforcements around. So this is a little fiddly that you get the string loop so it doesn't slide along the back side of the sear. So you really need to lift it and really put it into the string groove. So stringing is not way not as easy as with a normal Korean bow. A little minor thingy for the rest then the bow is straight. This is really brutally straight. I don't know what the brace height should be, but it, it, it is what it is. For the rest, it's then easy peasy. So, should I? It's nitpicking. I give you 10. The build is exceptionally well made. So there is nothing, totally nothing to complain. The whipping looks awesome with the decoration. The birch bark, birch, birch bark, I don't know how you pronounce it, looks amazing. You have here this, this sticker, this reinforcement, even if it's not so easy to string, but it's here and it really protects uh, the string pad with the fabric on it. The handle is nice. And I said, you can put then this other handle wrap around. This handle is nice too, I like it a lot. Feels more like a Tatar bow then, directly out of the box, not like a Korean bow anymore. But still nice. So here from the build, I have totally nothing to complain. There are two beautiful bows, 10 each. The basic feel, I always need to switch then to the, uh, how you to hold this bow properly, but this one really sits in your hand nicely. This bow is a little heavy, so you feel the 400, what was it, 80 grams? This one here is way more like, I remember, uh, a Korean bow. It's still a little on the heavy side, but it's a Joseon war bow or not a normal Korean bow, so it needs to be a bit more heavy. But I guess these, these heavy sears, they do there, that you feel the lever a bit, but it's still fine. Still gives you a nice control, torque, everything is no problem, so they felt directly this one felt really good and this one felt directly very good. So with this one directly, yes, you know what the bow, so you correct a little and the bow is exactly doing what you want the bow to do. So this one, the bio one, really good. 10, 10. Draw experience, the normal one. So first of all, it almost starts from, so there's not a lot of play, so maybe an inch. And then it already starts, so that's nice. 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Relatively smooth. Of course a little curve, 
but it's nice. So for this one, through experience, I give you 10. The bio laminated. There is a little more wiggle room in the beginning. So maybe the brace head needs to be adjusted, but I don't know. So if the brace head would be a little higher, then you don't lose this first inch here. 28, 29, 30, 31. Oh, and after 31, this one gets really stiff. So this one, draw curve wise, after 31, this bow gets stiff, has a little stacking. So I give you nine for this one. Shooting experience, both of them incredible. So with, of course, with these heavy arrows, you don't feel anything. Let's see what this one does. Vibration wise. One, two, three, four, five, seven. So you hear it? You hear that? It's a little. You heard that? And now listen to this one. Yeah, almost the same. So there's still, you feel it? One, two, three, four, five. It's a little. Might go away. I didn't give points negative for the other one, so we simply... It's a little, but that's why you shoot heavy arrows. With lighter ones, with a 340 grain here, you felt it, So, but it still would be doable, so it's fine. And for the rest, this bow, for a Korean bow, really predictable white arrow pass of course you but you get used to it after a few shots easy pieces I give you 10 for that 10 10 they give 60 for the normal ones and 59 for the bio laminated one price value 425 US dollar for this one and then of course you can have your bitch bark 30 and for good or a snake skin, exactly. Uh, it's quite a number. For this price, you get already, I think, a KTB2, which I think I would like more in this price range of $425 or a YMG. I don't know what my YMG now costs, I need to check first. But I think they're roughly in the same price league. Of course, this is a small company, but this one I'm not so sure so I give you four points with the bio laminated I don't know what that now all means exactly if there is now even horn on it or only uh, uh, sinew on it or only this horn and I don't know if it's real horn or processed horn or something so but I, it looks like real horn and then I don't know wood and, and fiberglass I guess the price is okay I mean, when you see bio composite grosier is less. Here you had 720 US dollars, but I think for what this bow is doing, it's fine. So I give you five. So here you have it, two really nice bows. Uh, Daniel, you can look forward to this bow. It's a really nice one. You will have a lot of fun with it. And this one is really a nice one too. So I like both of them. They do a pretty good job. It's simply Maybe the C is a little smaller and the grain per pound a bit lower and then I would be extremely happy. But I'm already very happy with the pose. So for this, well done. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you very much, first of all, Hikyung Archery for sending this pose to me. Thank you, Daniel Kim, for getting in contact. And thank you all for watching. Catch you in the next one.